Howdy, Howdy Ramblers. Ramblers! Welcome to another beer review. We're going to be trying this Ballast Point Imperial Stout. They are located in San Diego, and we're going to be tasting it here with our friend Carl. Say hi, Carl. Hi, Carl. He likes beer. Tell us why you're here. I'm here because you have beer. <laughs> That's pretty much all you need to know. Yeah. Now, Carl's a fan of stout beers, dark Belgians, things like that. So we thought this was right up his alley. This beer has a cool picture of an angler fish on it. And as Carl said, we hope it doesn't taste like the label. But it should have some caramel, coffee, chocolate, all sorts of different notes in there. So we'll see how it goes. Let's look at the appearance first. See how it looks. Yeah. Dark brown. Hazy. Can't see through it at all. Yeah. When I first poured it, there was a nice head. Yeah, you know, it went away, but you know, if you kind of agitate it a bit, it pops right back up. Nice dark brown color. Yeah. Not a whole lot else going on. <laughs> Let's see how it smells. Sure. All right. Ooh. So this smells sweet. Yeah, I'd say it almost smells like a barley wine, and mm -hmm. at ten percent, it's not too shocking that we're getting alcohol nose. Yeah. But other than that, I'm getting really fruity. Maybe like rotten fruit, but you can also smell the effervescence a little bit. Mm. I would say rotten berries. It's much more like a, you know, like a, like a fruitier Belgian, you know, kind of raisin, rotting fruit, mm -hmm. barley wine smell. Not really what you normally think when you think, oh, what meal style. Maybe cherries, or it says it mm. should have currants in it, so that makes yeah. sense. I'm not really smelling chocolate, but I am smelling a little bit of coffee in the back. Well, that really is overwhelmed by that kind of delightful rotting stench of a high alcohol dark beer. Well, now I'm curious to see how it tastes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. All right, cheers. Cheers. Wow, lots of different layers in this. Yeah, that's like the initial taste is that kind of like that very berry current, that fruit, but it's not you know, like a really like one of those imperial stouts that you have to you know sip very gently. And then it's almost like a, like a coffee. really coffee, but it's almost yeah. like a oily, smooth coffee. I guess it's like more like an espresso shot with nothing in it, but it's more on the aftertaste. When you breathe out, you're like breathing out espresso, which is really yeah. interesting. But when you bring it in, it's like, like you're eating one of those chocolate covered cherries, but it's not mm. sweet and chocolate. <laughs> like smooth or almost like a slightly viscous feel to it. Like it kind of, it really coats your mouth. It's pretty sour too for an imperial, mm. imperial stout for a 10 percent beer i was expecting something a lot more aggressive there's a lot of, there's different layers of taste of this and you know there's a little burn but it's surprisingly drinkable are you ready to rate this beer hmm. i would give this an enthusiastic four given the frightening packaging i wasn't quite sure and as long as the you know, somewhat frightening 10 percent alcohol rate the different layers of it and kind of the smoothness really surprised me and I wasn't really sure what to expect. Oddly enough, like I don't really feel that it's a deep monstrous beer. It's surprisingly nuanced and kind of smooth. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four as well. I like this beer a lot. I debated giving it a four and a half, but mm -hmm. I think the alcohol level kind of did it for me. If it maybe was a couple percentages lower and had more full body, like if I'd love to taste that oatmeal in there, it claims it's in there and I'm not really tasting it. If it was a creamier Imperial Stout, I might give it another notch up, but for now I'm gonna say, yeah, Enthusiastic Four, yeah. sounds about right. This beer is the Ballast Point Brewing Company's Imperial Stout called Sea Monster. Pick it up if you can. I think we got ours at Whole Foods or BevMo or something. You can follow us on Twitter. You can like us on Facebook. We're also on Untapped or Ramblin' Bears on all of those. Please subscribe if you like this video and want to see more. Thank our friend Carl for being here today. And that's pretty much it for now. So until next time, ramble, ramble on. on. Cheers. Cheers.